Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be working on the curtain again. So uh, if you remember the last time I tried to get this spur gear to stay in place, that's one thing. I'm um, sorry, the pinion gear to stay in place. So that's the first thing. Well, second thing that we're probably going to be working on today to get this actually um, locked into place properly. We keep having this grub screw back out. Um, so I'm going to try one of the suggestions from... Uh, RC Nightlife. Yeah, shout out to RC Nightlife. Thank you so much, man. I'm gonna try what you what you said. So I'm gonna try and use some red thread locker on there. Hopefully that stays in place a lot better. So that's the second thing that we're gonna be doing. <laughs> I'm going in reverse. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing or working on is we're gonna be changing out that uh, spur gear. So right now we are geared, we're geared pretty high. Um, so it's a 30, 34 tooth pinion and a 47 spur, I believe. And, uh, we're going to step this down to a 39 or a 37 tooth. I think it's a 39 tooth, um, spur gear. It's whatever is in the kit. I'll also put that on the screen as well. Um, but we're going to crack this open and get it done. I'll, you know, take you, take you guys along for the ride. Um, I'm going to see how exactly we're going to open this up change the spur gear, mesh everything up, make sure it's all running smooth. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so first thing, we'll have to take off these braces. The bottom brace down here, uh, hopefully you can see that down here. All right, so we're gonna lift that up because all of this part is gonna come out. So let's get that going. So we have to flip the car over and we're gonna have to unscrew the four screws that hold in this center brace here. Let's get this guy flipped over. So we gotta remove four screws. One, two, three, four. Mm. Put it back over. The entire thing is loose. Of grease at the bottom. So we're going to be unscrewing these two screws right here. All right, so here we go. Taking out these two, and we're taking off. So I was mistaken. There's no screws in this one. I think in the model before. Okay, guys. So um, we do have thread locker on this, so we're going to warm them up. We're not going to make the mistake again and strip these out. So we're going to warm it up and get that out because we're gonna need to move the motor in um, once we get that smaller spur gear on there so, so that we can get the meshing correct. Let's take off the spur. Just back that out. Back this out. All right. So now we're going to take off the nut that holds that on. It's just a nylon um, nylon washer on the end of the, the nut. So it's not tight at all. So I'm going to take off the bearing. And there goes our 49 tooth spur gear. And we're going to be replacing it with a smaller 39 tooth. This, that's it. Don't need any more. Get the cover back on. That's good. So now... I'm gonna get this back um, lined up here. So it just lines up just like so. And then we have to get Mr. Pinion. See that gap? So we have to get the motor in some more. Sipping my coffee. Borrowed my boys a cup today, Super Mario. <laughs> yeah, it's all about Super Mario. Loosen them up. Loosen them up just enough so I can slide it. 
Now, let's get this guy on there. Red thread locker this time, guys. This is the uh, heavy duty stuff. Let it in on this one. That's where I want it to be. All right. Gotta crank him down. All right, guys, I think we're all done. Um, everything's buttoned up. Everything's tightened down. Put back on the steering gear. Um, I actually took a quick break to to um, get the, uh, put some different Gorilla Groove um, on the, the ESC onto the top mount gear because it was actually filled with dirt underneath. So I kind of did that properly. Um, so now it's on there. Um, and I also get the got the switch done up properly so I'll just just a little stuff that I was supposed to do from the last time and I didn't do I was kind of too excited and I wanted to get it out but everything is good fans are on um, everything works center drive shafts are running good everything is running smooth okay guys that's it um, if you like my content please like subscribe and share it will really help out the channel to continue to grow and for me to continue to do these kind of things i really do enjoy this and i hope you are enjoying what i do so anyway y'all take care have a great day peace